Welcome, my name is Ricky, and this is Resident Evil 7. I've decided that this October I'm gonna play a little bit more thematically appropriate games for October. And we're gonna start with what is apparently the scariest game in the Resident Evil series so far. I didn't think it was nearly as scary as some people. I don't know, that's just me. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more. And I will explain more about what we're gonna be doing in Resident Evil 7 once we get started. So we're gonna be playing on normal difficulty, not easy, and way more importantly, not Madhouse, because I am not insane. Okay, so... Just had a long cutscene. Let me explain to you the plot of the game if you don't know. So, Ethan, who you're playing as, has been searching for his missing wife for three years who's been missing. Mia, his wife, has been missing for three years and he finally just found her or found a clue to her. And so that's why we are going to the Baker's residence here in uh, Louisiana. Now, so that's, that's basically all you nearly need to know to understand the plot of the game up until right now. What I want to say early on is how much I very much love this game. It's got its Resident Evil issues, obviously. Uh, the boss fights are... Eh. Some of them are really good. Some of them are awful. Like the final fight with Jack. And... Um, so... Yeah, we'll be getting in there in a little bit. But... Here's the thing, this game would have been, it would have been my Game of the Year 2017. It was not. And that has nothing at all to do with Resident Evil 7. It has nothing to do with Resident Evil 7 at all. It has everything to do with Breath of the Wild, which came out as well in 2017 and is a far superior game in almost every way just again it's not Resi's fault it's just that Breath of the Wild is just the better game so I'll tell ooh there's Jack Baker so I will look, I'm not even sneaking screw that but this game is so gorgeous that I can't wait for Resident Evil 4 to be remade in this engine the way they've done with 2 and 3 um, okay, so normally when you replay a game, I've played the game twice all the way through. Normally when you replay the game, you get a really cool, super uh, high-powered pistol that has three shots before you have to reload. But, will also basically take out every enemy in one hit if you headshot them. We're not going to use that gun. We are going to use the just the regular guns you get in the game. Here we are, the old house. Go ahead, give me his driver's license. That's important, it's not in the slightest, but there you go. It does prove that she's been here. I'll say this, I don't know this game super duper well because I've only played it twice all the way through. So I may miss stuff. Also, we're going to try and play large chunks of it at a time versus what I normally like to do, which is play smaller chunks of it at a time. Thank you, Ethan. Because I normally like to play uh, games in like half hour to 40 minute installments. Um, can't do that yet. However, that's not going to happen this time. Open the thing. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to play today what I like to consider the prologue of the game, the old house section. Lots of fun noises. I actually don't know if that's Ethan or someone else, but we're going to open up all of this. That's gross. I'm going to say this. The gross factor in this game is, oh, it's magnificent. So here's a button. The first, like, resi thing you got to work work on. Um, also, there's a tape. Derelict house footage. And, oh, look, a save slot. Oh, hey, look, all of my save games. This is for my first save game. This is from... An attempt at playing it a second time. This is from my first. My first. And this is the most recent time I played it. Which was around this time last year. Also, I guess a lot of those uh, objectives might have been a little bit spoilery. So, we have the tape. I'm not going to do any of the footage on the channel. Largely due to the fact that it takes forever. And uh, you basically do the same thing twice, multiple times. Can't go through there yet. Can go in here though. See what we need to get upstairs is right here. Is that fuse? All right. So first tape thing, and 
Yeah, see you afterwards. Okay, so we're back here in Jesus. the Bakers. There's a, a picture here that's got Mia on it. So now we know that uh, because I watched this, I now know I can pull this thing. But we're not actually going to do that because I also did something else. So in that bound tip, in, the, in the, the, the band, that's what I was looking for, in that tape. I can now open this thing and get this antique coin. So now we're going to pull this handle and move on. So yes, now we come down in here, and this is all also part of the demo as well, which, I'll be honest with you, uh, the biggest issue with this game is its performance. It's very hit and miss on my PC, or at least it was. It's actually a lot better now, even though I haven't upgraded my graphics card. I did up my, upgrade my CPU, which helped a decent amount. Uh, the last time I played through it, it felt like it was running a lot smoother. I really love this effect, the lighting effect that's going on right there, where the light dances uh, after reflecting off the water. You can see it. I really like that. And it's not something I've noticed until I saw someone else playing the game, and I went, that's really cool, I never noticed that. And I actually thought in my head, is it because I didn't see it before, because it wasn't actually in my game? But it is, it's there. So I definitely would have been able to see it. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, that's not where it pops up. Water was bubbling. I thought that was... There we go. That is Andre, I believe, from the, uh, from the tape that I cut out of the episode. We saw a picture that showed a cell. Of some sort. Game just saved. That's never always that that that's never really a good sign. Mia. Mia. Let's go look for something to open the door then. So these are fun. This is a fun little thing. Dead. Turned. 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 Dead. 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 Turned. Dead. Dead. Clancy L, which I assume means living. Uh, and then on the other side, you have Mia. There's nothing there. And then, uh, turned, dead, turned, turned, dead, 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 turned, turned. Yeah. Nice, lovely little list. That, uh, some of those people are, uh, monsters and some of them are, well, not. There we go. Mia... It's me. It's Ethan. Mm -hmm. Ethan. So, Mia is now a little bit worried about someone she is calling Daddy. That is Jack Baker. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that now. Um, Are you gonna tell me what's going on? And she's a little bit freaking out that Ethan is here. Three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Yes, it has. Let's go through this little crawl space thing now. We need to get out of here first. Not gonna be able to do that, are we? I think it's this way. You think? I don't like thinking. Oh, this is lovely. Chains, gurneys. That looks like a... No, oh, that's a strap. It looks like a wallet, but it's a strap for the gurney. That would be really fun to find in Fallout 4. Look at all that potential aluminum. What's through here? This is it. Okay, then let's go. Okay. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Uh huh. Yeah, it's not here. It's gone. It's what is gone. this? E zero zero one. We're gonna be a family. And an old lady. Now that you're here. What do you mean? What? What? Another door here. I'm sure of okay. It. So Mia's a little bit not in a great shape right now. Um, we've been wandering through this place. I'm going to walk back here because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to pick up a doll that clearly looks like Mia. And another little baby girl doll. No, leave me alone. That doesn't sound too good, does it? Let's walk back in here. Oh, Mia's gone. Oh, but look! Conveniently, we have a door now. You know, I played this game twice all the way through, but I've actually played this section a few more times than that. Because... 
um, I made a review thing on the game, and I had to get to this section again. A very brief kind of review, which you can watch, where I talk about the game and how good it is. Oh, look at that. I got a guest house map. That is exciting. View map. Yeah, uh, okay. That's all you really need to know. What I could really use is a gun in the, uh... Well, first aid's nice, too, I guess. In the, um... Demo, there was a gun in the toilet, I think. That doesn't sound good. Hello? We're creeping noise. Mia? Fake? Oh, no, it's Mia. Okay. Mia's gone full ring here. Ugh. Creepy. Mia looks like she's been infected with something. Oh, fun. Okay. And she's got a knife. Can I have a knife? Nope, just press the RT button to resist. Not that it matters. It's not like you can save your hand. Mia, wait, wait. You keep holding that up. Push it back. Back. Push her back. Grab the knife. That that's a good idea. Get the knife from her. Come on. Pick the knife up from the crazy lady. I can hear her. Hear who? I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. What, what are you talking about? Get out! Leave me alone! I've been bad. I deserve this. Uh, I don't think you do, but okay. Mia? Still can't go that way. That was a fun little, uh, ride. There. At some point you should get up and do the thing you do. Thank you! <laughs> uh, I may have spoiled the scare there, but it was a little frustrating that she wasn't doing it. Grab the axe, grab the axe, grab the axe. It's mini boss fight time. Well, that didn't stop her. There we go. Yeah. Nope. And... I'm dead, Ethan. I can never leave. I would really like her to not stabbing me. I'd really like to... Hey, come on. Punch her. Punch her in the face for some reason. There we go. Oops. I mean, sorry, Mia. I guess you're dead now. Maybe I should grab the axe? Ethan, grab the axe. That might be useful. Lots of incidental books. Oh, the phone is ringing. I'm a little bit banged up, but it's okay. Hello? Please get me out of here. You really shouldn't have come here. You're absolutely right. Your name's Zoe. This should be a way out through the attic. Okay. Go there. Now. You know, that doesn't sound... I mean, Zoe, I don't know a Zoe. It's just... I still can't go through that door. Who closed the bathroom door? Eh, Mia's gone. Did she take the axe? No, she did not, thankfully. I couldn't remember if she did or she didn't. Now we can enter the old house again. The this the the rest. Of, this is the section we were in before. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, but we still need that stupid fuse. Oh, hey, look! There's the fuse inside the thing. Hi, Mia. I'm sure we're done with her. I'm sure that there won't be another point in this game that we will be, uh, we'll be getting to her again. The atmosphere of this game is so good. And I don't know why this game doesn't terrify me the way it seems to have terrified other people. 
And I think part of it might be a psychological thing. Like, I know I'm in control of it, so... That's why it never feels too terrifying, because I know I'm in control. I know what's gonna happen. Hi! It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I forgot about this part. I mean, I didn't completely, but... Yeah, alright, well... I have an axe! Ethan, you have an axe! At no point did you think to stab her with the axe you have! It doesn't really matter. I can keep trying this, it's not gonna come out. Uh... Mia? Oh, this is bad. What outbreak? I promise. Must burn it all down. Mia. Well, I'll be taking my hand. Thank you. I can examine my hand. That's all I can do. Well, this is weird. I didn't know you could do that. Because why would you? And now we can go upstairs, finally, and maybe escape this place. And maybe get our hand reattached by somebody. Okay, attic. Second attic. Handgun. Finally. First aid. Okay, fine. There we go. Just trying to remind myself what block was, because clearly it wasn't LT. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's do some investigating around the room first. Oh, mannequins. That's fun. Alright, come in here. Oh, look! More handgun ammo. So, now we have lots of handgun ammo for what I'm sure we won't need at all because obviously why would we and now we're going to try and escape that sounds bad oh hi Mia how'd you get up on the roof this is like the fourth story of this house Ian Ethan I don't know why my targeting reticule is um, blue. I don't. I, I must have made it that way. Okay, Ian, stop missing. Please. Ethan, rather, or maybe maybe more accurately, Ricky, stop missing. Run over here. Oh, I hear other noises besides me and Ethan. Oh, 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 I did it in one. I did it in one. <laughs> I never do that in one. Oh, Mia, Mia. Okay. Well, I guess I'll. Leave then. Can't open that. Hello, Jack. And this is where we are going to call it. This has been Resident Evil 7. Thank you for watching and come back soon for more Resident Evil.